pictures, an exciting way of capturing events, preserving history and documentary memories. On Art House Today... <music> We see the amazing parts of our country, Nigeria, as taken by a popular photographer. Then the Lagos photo fiesta is still a sight for sore eyes. Talking about Lagos, we move to a suburb in the city to enjoy their photo festival, which shows portraits of home. It's all about photography on this week's episode of Art House. A warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Our worst myth today is titled Behind the Smiles by Richard Didibogu. The work of art is by Priscilla Akinremi. Behind the smiles are frowns of fear. The smiles give the soul a garment to wear. The garment covers the soul from tension. The garment shades the soul from vexation. The designer of the garment is courage. It strengthens the soul from unforeseen rage. Oh, what smiles can do? It can even do much more than a man can do. Smiles can give life to a muscled face. Beyond these, it's a real remedy for stress. Like a dreaded virus, it's so contagious. A start to it amidst aura so joyous. Now tell me, when last did you smile? Try it and you'll walk a long mile. If you do this, you'll enjoy life to the last. So then you'll have a life so vast. Thanks to our wordsmith for penning that down. The 13th edition of the Lagos Photo Festival 2022, as organized by the African Artists Foundation, AAF, is themed Remember Me, Liberated Bodies, Charged Object at the Alliance Francaise in Lagos. The Lagos Photo Festival, an interactive program that features exhibitions, workshops, screening and outdoor installations, with this year's event titled Remember Me, Liberated Bodies, Charged Objects, which explores how the media influence, shape, archive and order memories that affect communities and individual identities. The theme of uh, Liberated Bodies, Charged Objects really uh, focuses on the power of photography to bring past and future conversations into the present time. And I think over the last four or five years, the dominant topic around the art world has been about restitution of cultural artifacts. But we're interested in restitution of memories and that's what images can do. Images can trap the moment in time and bring it to the present moment. So a lot of the work that you see today is dealing with an idea of the restituting memories and building a new cosmology, a new idea of um, space and history and heritage in the present time for our communities. photography, these creatives say that words cannot speak, capturing moments that impact the society and share interesting stories that resonate with the audience. There are so many beautiful little short stories that you can find from each body of work from, for each artist. A lot of it deals with the main urgent issues of our day like ecology, climate change, and um, the intelligence to tackle these problems really lie in going back to learn from our uh, custodians from our forebears who had a different idea around um, ownership, capitalism, consumption. You know, our forebears um, and African 
tradition really focused on looking after things for the next generation. It's not about acquiring things and acquiring things and degrading the environment. You know, you go, you fish sustainably for you and your family and for the community. You do not drain out everything from the ocean so that the next generation cannot eat. And so these are the ecological concerns that I really tackled with Lagos Photo 2022. Some of the photographers go back memory lane to scenarios that rocked the boat. So I have two works here, and um, one of it is about the Entas, right? So in 2019, a, uh, a young graduate uh, who was supposed to pass out for his project, right, supposed to have his project, um, died by su suicide uh, due to police brutality. Um, and so the, the, there was a judiciary panel to look into the case uh, and I picked up an interest because it was so, I mean, this was shot in Abeokuta, this happened in Abeokuta State. And uh, I also find out that there were not a lot of media who were speaking about um, this issue, the police brutality issue. It was more focused in Lagos. So I, I chose to document this in the court and sort of like be a, a voice to the, uh, to the victim uh, and also to the mother of, of the of the victim. The series I'm working on is after the fall about the flooding in Lokoja State. So it's about the disaster caused by flooding in Lokoja. So I visited Koton Cafe community. It's a community close to River Niger in Kogi State. So these communities feed fishermen and farmers. And when I was traveling from Ibado, I saw the I saw the way all the community was submerged in water, and I was. Wonder why is this not on the newspaper? Why are we not? Why am I not seeing anything on the media about this story? So I decided to go and document the story when I returned to Abuja. I went back to my friends to document the story and you know push this to the to the media and let people let people see how this climate change is affecting most of our people in in Lokoja here. And you know flooding in Nigeria this year has been so 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 massive. We have flooding occurring almost all states in Nigeria, and that is scary, and it's so, so sudden. These creatives have used a medium which speaks louder than words to send a message to the audience, one that speaks volumes. To some more images, this time in Bariga, which is a suburb in the city of Lagos, we enjoyed their 2022 photo festival which reveals some portraits of home. Oh, you can't, 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 o
it's a boisterous day for this district in Lagos. And this hits different as the footprint of David and Bariga Photo presents this year's Bariga Photo Festival with a theme, Climate Justice Campaign, and a sub-theme, Portraits of Hope. Today we are exhibiting the works of our children from the Free Slum School in Bariga called Bright Achiever School. We are experiencing different exhibitions of um, creative images from these children. We have back-to-back -back a three-week workshop on how to use children's imagination to interpret uh, how the climate is affecting the whole world and how they can also portray a solution towards that. So we visited several markets in the Bariga community and we took a portrait of hope and today we are exhibiting 100 images portraying hope for Nigeria, portraying hope for Bariga. <laughs> It's a beehive of activities during this festival. There's a seaside cottage theater, which has installations that symbolizes what this area represents. Every day when you walk around your environment, there's always act around. You just need the right eyes to see. Um, in photography, there's what we call the rule of thumb. Do you understand? Every photographer has a third eye. You know, every time you look at your lens, and someone says, I can't see what you're seeing, but that's the law of photography. So when you walk around your environment, you see creative, you see people smiling, you see things going on, until you take a picture, and you look at it later, you're like, wow, so this is what I took in this picture. Our environment every day inspires us. Walking around, seeing kids smiling, seeing with everything happening in this country right now. All we need is just happiness, our own way. You see the tomato seller, the apple seller, one way or the other. At the end of the day, from morning to night, they just sell like 1,000 naira. But the essence of the whole thing is just for them going on happy. And they're still smiling. And they're happy that they're selling. Do you understand? There are some people who are not even doing anything. But every time you walk around your environment, you just see the tomato seller just happy chatting with the pepper seller. You see the pepper seller chatting with the um, chicken seller. And everybody's just happy, basically. So just trying to lift up our environment. When people are happy, basically our environment is happy. The riverside area, the enterprise and the people's passion are spotlight in this room which has been carved out to show images of everyday people that inspire a better future. Basically art is us, you know, every person you see standing is an art. But we also need support, you know, it's not easy getting equipment, especially for people who are just expiring, you know, they have the, the talent, they have the passion, but they don't have the equipment, you know, camera wise, even though those painters, you know, creative painters, those who are drawing and everything, they want to mix colors. Some people cannot even afford to buy coloring. But if you give them coloring, you see the, the wonderful acts they are going to produce for you. But you know, we also need support from the government, support from individuals. Also, basically, sometimes just appreciating someone alone, it's enough for us to grow the art. Just saying, wow, I love this. How much is this? Can I buy this portrait? Can I keep this in my room? That alone inspires some people. We are encouraging us to do more. Because if you buy my art, no matter how small it is, you are saying that, wow, this is good. It can be better. So tomorrow you are telling me to go out there, get better portraits, display it, and people come and say, wow, I love this, I love this. You know, so doing, you are encouraging us to do more. The Bariga Photo Festival reveals the beauty of community Journalism, a culture of being their brother's keeper.
lovely works there. Now, let's take a moment. When Art House returns, we'll still be appreciating beautiful images, but this time from a different hand. Do stay with us. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's begin with Femi Akomu's charcoal and acrylic on canvas piece called Hairdresser. Then Optimistic is an oil on canvas work by Ehime Loki. Seek Within is by Bukola Oriye. It's done with oil and acrylic on canvas. Then Michael Adetula is saying, I keep my cool with this mixed media on canvas work. Then a delight is what Isaiah Phillips has titled this charcoal on paper piece. While Melanin Blessing is an oil on fabric work by Bakari Abubakar Sadiq. This ink on canvas work is called Afro Lady by Adetoru Adebayo. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you as always for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. There is no problem in this world that cannot be solved. Amazing Nigeria is a solo exhibition of pictures captured by popular photographer Kelechi Amadiobi and organized by the SMO Contemporary Art in Lagos. This solo exhibition called Amazing Nigeria is the climax of renowned photographer Kelechi Amadiobi's one-year tour across the country and about 30 pictures reveal the wonders he captured during that expedition. Well, Amazing Nigeria is um, it's a journey around the entire country. Um, first from Western Nigeria, then um, to East, to South South, then to the North. Uh, in search of beautiful landscapes and beautiful vistas, uh, the idea is to reveal to Nigerians the inner beauty of this country through photography. How do we see ourselves? How do we see our country? Do we appreciate the beauty, the spectacular vistas of our nation? Do they come to mind when we think about our nation? They usually don't. Many people are always, all of us really, focus on our problems. So it was his desire to travel around the country for 12 months and photograph important locations and celebrate the beauty of Nigeria. And that's the spirit, that's the, the, the philosophy behind this exhibition called Amazing Nigeria. From breathtaking landscapes which Mother Nature has endowed to the nation, which are tucked away in different communities, show that every inch of the country is uniquely blessed. But the first thing, Nigerians, um, I'm trying to say with this is that Whatever you, you want to see, you will find. If you want to see beauty, you will find. If you want to see death, you will find. But I believe that there is a lot of positives for us as Nigerians. And this exhibition is a call to show evidence of that beauty. And that once we can appreciate it, then we'll try to preserve it. They will try to exploit it for our own good. 
These hidden finds have been brought to the fore as this multi-talented creative decided to rediscover a place he calls home. I've traveled all over the world. Um, well, you know, a lot of continents. And I still cannot find a place as good as Nigeria. So I'm baffled when people say it's all bad. Because I don't see all bad when I look around. I see opportunities. <laughs> so I'm trying to open their eyes. It's as simple as that. The audience enjoy many images of the lush greens intertwined in the rocky mountains to the waterfalls and other green stone and marvel at the color and appeal. This is Kelechi bringing different parts of Nigeria together in a small space. You know, um, because of this art, Kelechi is going to put images in, um, in Niger, in different parts of Nigeria, really, and then bringing all of those pictures, you know, here gives us an experience of different places of, of Nigeria. Kelechi has been at the forefront of shaping our visual narratives as a country, as a creative industry. Um, through his work, we have seen sort of the best of, you know, fashion, film, music, and these images are now meant to also look inwards and show where we come from. A lot of us haven't even traveled around the country. When we, when we have time to go on you know, holidays, we go to Dubai or London or New York. But the most spectacular places are actually right at our doorstep. These are places I grew up visiting and um, we need to do everything in our power to ensure that our country is stable and secure so that we can also have internal tourism. It's quite amazing to see that uh, our own son of the soil is taking it upon himself to dam all the costs, you know, the, the risks and uh, uh, consequences of being attacked or whatever in one way or the other as he travels to create this bundle of works that really showcases the beauty and the energy of the country. For this photographer, there is no end to the beauty within and these pictures are just a drop in the ocean compared to the treasures the nation has in store. Wow, I'm sure you had to pinch yourself. Or oh, are you still doubting if those places exist right here in Nigeria? Well, that's the beauty of photography for you. Sometimes we are too busy to notice the wonder all around us. We enjoy some more appeal, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On the next episode of Art House. A play, poem, and paintings in a show titled The Mispredilections of Aboya by Lakunle Wesu. Then, first time, a homecoming solo show by Bernard Ategwa at Paces Gallery. Mark Making, a solo show by Chijoki Onora at Center for Contemporary Art in Lagos. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing, and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. 
Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. So tune in next week to enjoy those solo exhibitions we teased. It's interesting, I tell you. Different techniques and they are unique as well. That's the program today. It's getting more colorful with each episode. So be sure to keep up on our social media platforms. It's the peak of the art season, so exhibitions are happening at every turn. We leave this moment. Visit our social media platforms or view it on our YouTube page. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.